Ah, right, let me stop. All right, so this is Iman's video on desexualizing the brain. Let me let's see what it, see what this man's talking about, bro. He not talking to me, bro. He's talking to all of y'all, bro. I be t I be seeing people outside uh, my apartment. People be walking their dogs, literally head and phone, not looking up at all. I be like, yo, bro, this like, I be like, yo, you gotta stay on your piece and cues, bro. Like every, I'm telling you, like everybody be on their phone, bro. Like we are cooked. Like if you are Gen Z or Gen Alpha. Especially Jim, you know, you're cooked. Even the millennials out here, cooked, bro. It's t it's crazy. You are killing your focus. You're killing your testosterone, and because of all of that, you are killing your success. The average person has a worse attention span than a goldfish. Oh God, we are in the goldfish era, the microwave era, whatever you want to call it. Who you're competing against? So on the good news, that means that just with the so then, that's why, I ain't gonna lie, that's why I will agree with when he said that it's harder to win. I say it's easy to win because the, the competition is like, I mean, the barrier to entry is non-existent. And the competition is so low, bro, because everybody's focus is insanely terrible. All you got to do is just put the phone down, bro. Put the phone down. Turn it off. Get off of all websites. You know, y'all know, know what I'm talking about. I don't need to say nothing. You know what I'm talking about. And lock in, bro. It's not that hard. Facts. Before we even begin, you need to understand that your ability to control your urges is directly correlated to your success or lack thereof. If you cannot control yourself, if you cannot be disciplined, you will never be successful. It is simply impossible. And that is why it's so important for you to master your urges. And all of that... Short-term gratification versus long-term gratification. That's all it is. Discipline is the, shout out to Abraham Lincoln for this. He gets credited for this uh this quote. Discipline is choosing between what you want to do now. It's between choosing what you want now, and what you want most. That's all it is. Starts with desexualizing your brain so that you are no longer ruled by your primate brain. So today I'm gonna give you the only six steps you need to desexualize your brain. Because it's having that very control over your mind, your body, and your life that will ultimately lead you to success. Now, here's the interesting part. Truly desexualizing your brain actually has very little to do with sex and has everything to do with something else. But I will get to that a little later in the video. So for now, let's get into it. The first step is to stop watching porn. First and foremost, you need to... Are you freaks that's watching this, bro? Bro, lay off the tabs, bro. Lay off the private tabs, bro. Just chill out, my guy. Now, listen, this may sound obvious, but 99% of young people simply cannot stop. I would say that watching porn is by far the worst way which you sexualize your brain. And let me explain to you why. You see, the problem isn't just the amount of time that you spend watching porn. I mean, sure, if you stop, you'd have an extra hour per week or something like that. But that's just a very minuscule side effect compared to the you see, porn literally fries your brain and robs you of focus. Don't believe me? Just look at the science. There have been multiple studies that link porn usage to the erosion of your prefrontal cortex. You know that part of your brain that regulates your emotions, your actions, and more importantly, your impulse control and willpower. But like I said before, y'all niggas is cooked, bro. And the thing is, too, it's, it's very easy to get off of this path to this to self-destruction i mean you already you already self-destructed this but you're just going down the rabbit hole and you're in the sunken place my god so i think like the biggest thing that worked for me was doing detoxes like i'm talking dopamine detoxes and as of now i literally only focus on long-term gratification so like reading or meditating 
working out, things that you don't see a result on or things that you don't see immediate success or results from is which is what's going to help you get rid of this um, rotting of your brain, my guy. Your brain is cooked, bro. It's crazy. But that is just the tip of the iceberg. There is a laundry list of negative side effects that have been linked to porn use. Why? Because porn use has similar effects on the brain as substance abuse. Porn has been linked to issues like decreased focus and increased anxiety and depression. Y'all on digital crack. You add that plus the amount of plastics, the microplastics, and the amount of antibiotics that they put in food, the amount of herbicides, insecticides that they put in food. It's no wonder why testosterone is dropping. Literally year after year, testosterone is dropping, bro. Cause y'all, y'all, bro, y'all really be thinking that, like, you know what? I might go there. Than their counterparts who don't watch porn. Now, the second step in desexualizing your brain goes hand in hand with quitting porn, and that is, you need to stop pleasuring yourself. Look, I understand it's addictive, and I understand that it's been normalized in today's day and age. But there is nothing healthy or normal about it, and not even because the very act is so terrible as it is with porn. It's actually just because of the consequences of it. You see, every time you do it, your dopamine surges. I mean, you're pretty much signaling to your brain that you have accomplished what is supposed to be man's highest goal, procreate. You are essentially telling your brain that you've done the most important thing you'll do all day. Now, of course, you and I both know that that's not true. Yeah, basically he's saying you ain't getting, yeah, you ain't getting no buns, bro. That's tough. And the thing is, too, like... Here's what I will say about that, because what he's talking about is no facts. Bro, too much of anything is bad. So, as long as you are aware of what you're doing, you can control yourself. Do you, my God. Like, I ain't finna tell you not to... I'm not finna tell you what to do with yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know you better than anybody else. So, as long as you are just aware of, of what you... Of your tendencies and what makes you tired of what makes you um, focus and you'll be able to react accordingly to that. Not react, but to respond accordingly to that. The neurons firing in your brain do not, and that is why you are rewarded for it. That is why it's cheap dopamine, because you are tricking your own brain into giving you dopamine you have not earned. And that's why your ability to focus and your ability to do hard things plummets. Because how do you think that the real world will stack up the dopamine and other chemicals stack up at all. I mean, no wonder you can't focus when your dopamine receptors are so fried. This is why you can't focus. I mean, listen, of course everything else will feel boring when you've just done the dirty business. And this is why you need to stop. So you ask yourself, why do so many young men keep doing it? Because it's digital crack, bro. I just said it, bro. Your brain is literally thinking that you a Mac that you, that they, they really think that like, yo, I don't know whose body I'm in, but they really out here doing it. No, you're not, bro. You're not. You're not. And that's the thing, too. It's so easy for people to keep doing it because it's dopamine. We are wired to to have dopamine. We are wired for reward. So we want our, our, our body naturally wants reward. As a result, we're going to do anything to continue doing it. That's why it's so hard for like, people to get off of, uh, to, to have dopamine detoxes. And that's why it's so crucial. No pun intended, too. Dopamine in the exact same way that people get addicted to drugs. I mean, in fact, more than masturbation are the most difficult addictions to break. Why? Because of the insane dopamine spike that is caused by it. 
So real quick, let's just look at the data. If you eat a delicious burger with some other carb-filled meal, your dopamine levels will spike by 100%. Now, if you smoke or get some other form of nicotine, your dopamine will spike by 200%. Whereas porn and masturbation boosts your dopamine by over 250%. Some of y'all doing all three. Y'all brains is cooked. The exact same oh my God, y'all brains is cooked. That's the exact same dopamine curve you get through drugs. So then that really starts to beg the question, how the hell do you stop? And here is where it gets interesting. You see, an addiction to porn and masturbation isn't actually rooted in anything sexual at all. And that leads us onto the third step of how you can desexualize your brain. Number three, purpose. Now, they actually did a study where they tried to figure out what causes you. When you're not on your purpose, you seek pleasure. childhood trauma, it was an extraordinary libido. Instead, it was something far simpler, far more rudimentary. It was meaninglessness. Simply put, if you don't have a purpose, if you don't have a goal, if you don't have something that you are striving towards, then you are more likely to devolve in these addictions. Now, the good news is, it's fixable. Every man should have that purpose, that North Star that drives him forward. You simply Quick, quick plug. If you want to find your purpose, go on my, one of my videos. It talks, it's a Japanese concept, the Igika. My fault. Go shame this plug. Eat something that is easier time than given to your version. What that something is, will depend on the person. Now, from an early age, we are taught that we need a good college education and a corporate job, as though that's somehow going to fulfill us. But we both know that that's definitely not true. Insane, Cap. In fact, mm -hmm. that's not true at all. And from October 30th to November 6th, I'm going to expose how and why you have been indoctrinated to believe this. And most importantly, I'm going to show you how to escape their indoctrination and earn back your freedom. So, if you want to be a part of that free online event, then sign up with the link below. Anyway, we all need something to guide us. For some, it'll be starting a business. For others, it might be something I can tell you that for me personally, my North Star was to be able to take care of my mom and my loved one. And that is why I went into business, because I had that North Star to guide me. And honestly, without that North Star, I can confidently say that I would have given up. Because the money isn't enough to keep you going. Yeah. You need that North Star. You need that why. Impact. That purpose. But mm -hmm. even then, once you have your purpose, you may still slip up. Why? Because there are triggers out there that cause you to do so. And this leads into our fourth step. Yeah, get rid of the triggers. Step number four. Stop watching soft porn. You see, soft porn can be just as bad as porn because it's everywhere. Everywhere you look, there are half-naked girls. Oh, God. Bro, I'll be on Instagram. Even the video game, even the game, the mobile apps we have, I'll be like, yo, bro, y'all is wilding, bro. It's everywhere. It's like... Bro, I just, even this year, I just started going on Twitter, like, bro, Twitter? I didn't know it got down like that either. That's all I'm saying. It's, it's, it's literally everywhere. So, you got to really just, you got to be mentally strong out here, bro, because when you when you be on them apps, they gonna, they don't they gonna, they gonna try to get you. That algorithm won't try to creep up on you. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna say you gotta delete all of the all of the girls that you follow. That's OC. But I'm just saying, like, what you gotta do is you just have to be aware that it's the tr that, that is out there. Cause I think like for you to, if the only way that you can focus is by deleting all of those, then you don't really have self control. That's how I look at it. I think if you're able, like you're able to focus. Like, I think you truly have self-control and discipline if you're able to look at that and you're like, okay, no, nah, but like, that's where you really know you have it. So, but I, I understand what he's saying too. He's saying just to build that, that discipline up, you do need to get rid of the triggers. Um, 
honestly, I don't think you really need to. It just it it, it depends on per, it depends on the person. It changes for everybody. That's a fact too. Don't directly help your business. That's a fact. But in any case, the next step you need to take in order to desexualize your brain is to focus inward. Hey, everything starts from within. You know, let me stop pausing. I'm pausing too much. Let me stop. And not outward. You see, the biggest problem with the sexualization of your brain stems from the changes that are happening in your dopamine system. The sexualization of your brain impairs your ability to do hard work because your brain becomes so easy to cheat with dopamine. And that's why the next step requires you to learn Instead of constantly looking outwards for stimulus and dopamine, you need to learn to look inward. Now, you might be asking, what does that actually mean? It means that 99% of people get their so-called happiness by doing funny things, whether those things be as sinister as porn or as innocent as chocolate. But if you truly want to be successful, they got them tabs out too. That cannot I don't know if y'all if y'all know about them tabs, but they got that that out too. It's crazy, bro. I did not see this video either, bro. Everything I said, he talking about, bro. I'm telling you, this stuff works. No phone, not even books or music, and certainly no porn. Just complete stillness. You need to become used to finding peace without these external stimuli. Because the goal is for you to be so fulfilled by your work that you eventually get those same dopamine releases by doing hard things. You see, dopamine is nothing but a reward system. It's the way that your brain has evolved to reinforce behaviors that would increase your chances of survival. And that is why sex spikes your dopamine so much, because without procreation, I mean, you wouldn't exist. But in today's world, social media and food has hijacked those same systems. And that is why it is your job to read your... Yeah, those are the biggest hijackers. Sex and food, bro. Those are by far. Control over them. So stop seeking cheap dopamine externally, and instead, look inward. And that is how you desexualize your brain and realign your actions with your goals. Now, the final thing is you need to stop chasing women and build yourself first. Listen, you will never be able to truly focus inward if you are constantly chasing women. If you're texting this girl, meeting up with that girl, also while thinking about some other girls, you will never be focused. That is not how you desexualize your brain, which is exactly why I always say that you need to stop chasing women and build yourself up first. The best part is when you do eventually build yourself into man of substance, the women just inevitably come to you. But until you get to that level, chasing women is just a massive waste of time. Unless it's your day one girl, unless you know, hey, this girl, this will be my future wife. But if that isn't you, it's a waste of time for two reasons. Number one, the quality of women you can get at the beginning of your journey is nothing compared to what you'll be able to get later down the line. You see, women date up in the social hierarchy. Let me go back to that real quick. I want to see. I'm, I just want to make sure I'm just, I, I follow what he's saying. And build yourself first. Listen, you will never be able to truly focus inward if you are constantly chasing women. If you're texting this girl, meeting up with that girl, also while thinking about some other girls, you will never be focused. That is not how you desexualize your brain, which is exactly why I always say that you need to stop chasing women and build yourself up first. The best part is when you do eventually build. Stop chasing gen women in general. Don't be, don't chase women after you build yourself. Like stop chasing women in general. When you chase something, it runs away. So just off, like don't chase anything in general. Be the be the person that's that is a magnet. You need to have magnetism. Everything needs to you need to attract the things that you want in your life. Don't chase for don't chase it. Build yourself into a man of substance. The women just inevitably come to you. But until you get to that level. Now, when he says when you get to that level, he's talking about something outside of yourself. Um, he's talking about when you get to the money that you want. 
and the success that you want. But earlier he said to go inward, not outward. I think that those are little, those, he's conflating, he's um, contradicting himself when he says that. I think that you need to, you're always going to be developing yourself no matter what, even when you get the success, whatever that means to you, versus when you don't have it. Um, so if you just build who you are, if you change your mindset, you change your identity, and you change who you see yourself to be, and you're continuing you're continuing your journey to get to success, you're still gonna have women that want you along their journey even before you get to success. Waste of time. Unless it's your day one girl, unless you know, hey, this girl, this will be my future wife. But if that isn't you, it's a waste of time for two reasons. Number one, the quality of women you can get at the beginning of your journey is nothing compared to what you'll be able to get later down the line. You see, women date up in the social hierarchy, which means the best quality women will inevitably end up with the best quality men. So that's why you need to spend time molding yourself to be the best version of yourself that you can possibly be. And I'm not only talking about just money here, by the way. And the second reason it's a waste is because if you somehow manage to get a high quality girl, the amount of effort and time that it will take you is massive. So you really need to analyze the How? opportunity cost here. If you're going on a date with a girl, spending a hundred dollars or a few hundred bucks to try to impress her has far greater... You shouldn't be trying to impress a girl at all. You should just be impressive. ...your complications. Look, I'm not saying you should be an anti-social weirdo, but you need to set your priorities straight. Listen, in the same Yeah, that part is true, though. Set your priorities straight. That's true. Journey is harder than the first one, and that is why you need undivided attention. I mean, listen. After all, you just need one to three years of pure focus, and then you can live a normal life. But you need to be willing to make that sacrifice. Because let me tell you something: if you are constantly thinking about this girl and that girl and which girl to see tonight, there is no way that you will be able to desexualize your brain and channel your focus into what really matters. That's a fact. So Focus on yourself always. Um, that was a good video by him. I think uh, that's one reason why I say, bro, like, if y'all um, watch my other videos, I talked about how my goal this year is hyper-focused because I realized what he's saying. I've realized this. We, like, all these ind all these companies all in cahoots with each other, government, they trying to get our attention, but we are in the attention economy, so attention is new currency. And if by somebody has your attention... Then they, then you don't have attention in yourself, so you can't grow. So they have a, they have an effect on you, and they can create you to be who they want you to be, which is usually a worker for them. Now that's just how, that's just how I see it. You could correct me if I'm, if you think I'm wrong in the comments, but I think it's very important for you to take the advice that he says too. Yeah, definitely do a dopamine detox. Um, and if y'all need any help, I will create a dopamine detox for y'all, and I'll even do one, which are, um. That may be like a an event, like hit a number go. We could all do like a dopamine detox together. We could document it and uh, have like a, like a chat uh, or a community about it that we all talk about how it was. But it's very important for you to have some dopamine, to have some self control. That's the biggest thing you need, self control, bro. So with that being said, bro, like, comment, subscribe for more, my guy.